Well, it's time for another little update on the Pike Speed car. Um, it's been busy. Nathan's been busy at uh, Cox Machine. Uh, we've got a bunch of uprights started. Uh, his lathe has been down for a few weeks, which stinks, uh, mostly for him. Like, we're doing okay here, but uh, it's supposed to be back up and running soon, so we'll have the, uh, the actual wheel shafts done. Uh, otherwise, we have a painted chassis. Um, Benoit came out. Um, on unrelated business, but decided to stay all week and uh, get this thing painted. So uh, today begins reassembly. Uh, I think we have like 98 days until Pike Speak. So uh, last year at this time, we still didn't have the gearbox to even finish the car. So yes, we're getting close, but uh, I'm not panicking. Uh, I know Paul is. Sorry, Paul. But uh, we're doing the best we can do. Um, We'll be on track in April, which gives us two full months of real shakedown, which we've never had. So Benoit, uh, like I said, he stayed here all week and prepped and painted, and it is gorgeous. You can see the other parts over here. So just having this... Uh, done and proper is going to be pretty big for the for the whole car. Just be that much nicer. Let's see the smorgasbord of parts. Um, so today I'm going to try to get um, try to get the engine and gearbox back in because we have to be completely ready for when Nathan gets the uprights to us. <clears throat> um, also of note, we designed this rocker system our whole team a couple years ago and never really inspected it last year. Because uh, it never gave us any problems, but as you can see, no problems. It's wonderful. So, uh, fun, fun fact. It's on the engine stand, and it's super light. So I think this whole chassis, I should weigh it before I start putting stuff back on. I'll do that. But I think the whole chassis is well under 200 pounds, so... Yeah, so I'll, uh, actually, I'm going to weigh that right now, just so we know where it's at. Okay, it's all weighed, all the chassis pieces. Uh, here we go. Main chassis, 159 pounds. And the rest of it adds up to 226. So not bad. I think the first chassis was like 260 pounds, so this one's quite a bit lighter. Which it should be because the gearbox is half the chassis, but I'm not going to weigh that. So, now we uh, start assembling. Well, kind of blinked and uh, got a lot done. Engine and trans and all supporting stuff that has to go in first is in. Jake and Ethan helped out. Thanks, guys. And, uh, yeah, it goes together from here. Um, now that this is all in, I'm going to start getting the cabin done. Um, I'm going to get some new master cylinders. So later this week, I'll be able to button all this up. Um, I anticipate just really, I mean, another week of work. Um, and then we'll be completely ready for the uprights from Nathan, from Cox Machine. So jamming out. All right, so I'm in Michigan, and uh, yeah, stop by Cox Machine, see uh, see the parts. They're not ready yet, but might as well look at them. There's Nala and Bruce. They, they just love me for some reason. Oh, they're right here. Oh. Those are gorgeous. They're uh, plated of some sort. Hi, Nathan. <laughs> he loves being on camera. All right, let's look at the rest of these parts. Okay, thank you, guys. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, man. They're huge. Yeah. 
These are our tow links. A couple small changes here. These are uh, push rod links. I'm moving the push rod right to the upright on the rear. Um, brake caliper brackets. Quite a bit lighter than the last version. And yeah, let's go back to the wheel nuts. These things are insane. Look at that. Huge. So the wheels are up on a shelf. They're all wrapped up in a crate ready to go back. So we're just going to leave those alone. Uh, Nathan did cut them though. So yeah, it's exciting times. Getting to the end of the, the parts wait. So here are the wheel drive pins. We'll put a hex on the end so we can get some good torque on them. And here are the wheel bearings. Look at these monsters. So very excited about these. It's gonna be two per wheel. Probably the loads of the average semi. All right, back to uh, back to Vegas after my Michigan visit. In a few weeks, we'll have everything we need.